Hey everyone! Today's video is going to feature my favorite brushes, brushes that I use every day. So, I don't really have a category, nor do I have sort of a distinct number of brushes. I'm just going to go over the brushes that I um, reach for. So, the first thing that I wouldn't be able to um, be without is the brush that I use to uh, fill in my eyebrows. I love my eyebrows. Um, they're, they're sort of my favorite thing about, like, makeup. I... Um, one of my favorite thing, but I, I really, I'm kind of vain about my eyebrows. I love them and I like full eyebrows. And so what helps me fill them in is a uh, little brush that I got uh, from a travel kit at a local, um, uh, here in New York City, there's a pharmacy called Dwayne Reed. And um, it's like Walgreens or Rite Aid. And I found this really cool, like, travel brush set and in it was a uh, dual-sided brush and uh, eyebrow brush and an eyeliner brush the eyebrow part of it i use every day to fill in my brows it's firm it's angled and it really allows me to like shape in my brows and fill them out so i really like that that's a brush that i use every day another brush that i use every day well there's there are two um a shader brush the brush that i use to um do the eyelid color i have two that i use one is my elf brush a it's it's tapered it's wide it's for packing on color and then sometimes i like to use a another brush that's a little sort of longer this is the Low Cornell Maxi Maxine's Mop um, 3 eighths of an inch. It's supposed to be a dupe of the MAC 239. You see it's sort of flat and um, I, I like um, using this one when I have to kind of use eyeshadows or pigments that are going to be a little damp because um, I don't like to dampen a fluffy brush. This one's a little less fluffy and um, I like I, this is a synthetic hair brush and I like that one for pigments and stuff so between these this one and this one I use these every day um, a foundation brush where I use to paint on my foundation and then um, uh, smooth that out with a sponge another thing that I use every day a, a, a sponge a cosmetic sponge but I use this every day this is a posh travel size um, foundation brush and I use this uh, every day to paint on my foundation. I have a concealer brush that I love too that really helps me um, uh, get underneath my eye and in, in, um, here and in, in around my nose where I get very red. Um, I like this very much also for putting down cream eyeshadow as a base for um, powder eyeshadow I use this as well every day um, this is actually from Revlon I got this at a discount store for two dollars Jackson New York City Revlon another Revlon brush that I use every day and it's my absolute favorite is the fluffy brush that I use for powders that I use for bronzer and that I also use for uh, blush it is a Revlon uh, brush and I love it in terms of crease work and blending work uh, well, the fine crease work, uh, hands down, Essence of Beauty, uh, the, the, there's a, they're a duo, it's a smaller, uh, crease brush and this one, which is the larger one, and I love this for very, sort of, defined crease work. For blending, this one that I got at Sephora a long time ago, and I love blending with this because it's very fluffy and it allows me to, um, blend, um, sort of, uh, it covers enough space where I don't have to spend a lot of time it, it does a lot of um, it works hard <laughs> this brush um, and then another Revlon um, brush uh, that's the third one I love this brush it's fluffy it's flat um, they call it an eyeshadow brush I use it as a brow highlight brush and also to blend up here I love that and then for um, blending out the uh, defined crease in the outer V, I really do like the MAC 217 uh, brush. It's the only high-end brush that I have. I really do like to sort of start col dark color here and go in and, and work on the outer V. I do love that. 
And then um, you, I, I cannot be without a spoolie, again, for um, eyebrows. This is an elf spoolie that costs a dollar. For all over uh, brush, uh, all over powder work, I do like the e.l.f. face um, powder brush that's flat and awesome for liquid foundation, although I don't, I'm not using this for liquid foundation. Lately, I'm using it for powder. And the last thing, um, actually, that I don't use every day, but I love and is so underrated is sponge tip applicators for pigments. Nothing like it. Um, so anyway, these are my favorite brushes. Most of them I use every day. Um, I hope you like this video. Let me know what you think and let me know what brushes you like. Bye.